grant us to be at their threshold. And with your complete faith you can't even doubt that their presence is not there. Everywhere you go on this earth you are surrounded by them. We say, Salaamu Alaikum Ya Ibadullahi Saliheen, they're all around. When we wake from our heedlessness and think that we are all by ourselves, Allah say, was there ever a time you were something forgotten? You don't know how much their blessings have prevented difficulty from our lives. How many calamities were lessened and destroyed because they're all around. Their lights are everywhere around especially for people who they, they have a love. This love was not from our cleverness. This was not a love that you thought you opened a book and you understood it. This was a love from them that they remembered us long before we ever understood them. And their light and their love was always guarding and circumambulating the whole presence of that insan. And because of their companionship and because of their noble lights, those lights began to reflect upon us. And they say, you're never alone, why is it that you don't remember us? Why is it that you don't ever stop to think about us? And when we do we realize that, I didn't try to approach Allah with anything from me. How pitiful would that be? Ya yeah, Rabbi I brought my food, I gave what I could give. We did what we could do, open their love. Feel through the heart, feel through all the senses that they're all around and that I never walk alone. And although I walk through the valley of death, I don't fear for I know my Lord is with me. That He surrounded me with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. And Allah says, if you think you're with me, you're with them and this is the best of company. Not in your salah only but everywhere you walk, everywhere you sit and especially if you sit in the circles of remembrance, sit in your home. We said most people pray like uh, when we were kids, they don't, they don't want to admit on television but we played di doorbell ditch, ding ding dong ditch. You, you run, hit somebody's doorbell and run and then you laugh. Oh, look, they open the door. <laughs> most, people pray, <laughs> most people pray their salah like this. They're just praying all day long, they're, they're like, oh it's time for salah, salah. They make their salah and they go. The salah was a means in which to <coughs> talk to Allah, talk to Prophet talk to Ibadullah Saliheen. The salah was a series of movements and a, a way to stop and to stop from our busy life. Most powerful salah is Zohr and Asr, the most missed salah other than the fajr and everything. There's a secret in the Zohr and Asr that nobody's praying it and they're praying it busy with their work. This salah was a means in which to pray and we're all guilty of it. And as soon as you make your tahiyyat, go into sujood and say, Ya Rabbi I'm weak, I'm overcome by difficulties and shaitan is ruining everything. Then when are you going to open Ya Rabbi? Fata abwaab as samah wa mayan munhamilan Ya Rabbi. Said they asked and they didn't ask on their own behalf, don't ask from yourself. They said, I'm asking on behalf of these people whom you love. On the Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Saliheen, for your love for them I'm asking Ya Rabbi grant me a najat. <laughs> Grant me a salvation and open up your gates of heaven. And if Allah should open up the gates of heaven, but awab as umayyan munhamiran, that I will shower you from my oceans of light, oceans of water and rahmah, that I drowned you in my mercy and my tajallis. 
that every light dress upon your soul, wherever you go be like a water fountain of light dressing upon your soul and wish to dress you, to bless you and to make you know that you are not something left alone, that I kept you in the best of companies, fi dunya hasana wa akhir hasana wa kina adhaba nar No doubt you are with Imam al-Hasan, you are surrounded by Ashraf al-Rasul, you are surrounded by Sadat al-Rasul, they're always all around you because you love them and they love you and their love for you was more ancient and qadeem. And a result of their love they dress you, they bless you, they make sure every goodness comes to you and every difficulty to be sent away from you and to be lessened. Doesn't mean life won't test us but you're not being decapitated as soon as you get in a car and tak your head go off, no. But you get in a car and no matter what happens you come out safe, you come out without a scratch upon your body, Who? from the lights. It's not the airbag in your car but the lights of these noble souls that surround the ashaqeen because they love Sayyidina Muhammad and they inherit from ummati, ummati, ummati their love for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So means everything we're doing has such an immense power, such an immense reality that the associations cannot be understood but they can only be felt. There are many who are watching and experiencing every word being said they're experiencing it, every video coming out they see it and things that are happening and that's the sign of tariqah. Tariqah is not something as a philosophy but something that you taste, a dhawq, that you tasted what the shaykh was teaching, you tasted what the realities that they were dispensing means that this knowledge of realities you heard it. With your tafakkur and your senses and your ability to disconnect from the world you begin to see it and as a result they give you to taste it, became a haqq for you. That haqq means it burned onto your soul, Allah engraved that reality no matter where you are and what condition you can talk about that because it's real for you. The way was built on being real, we don't read somebody else's stories but we make our own. But I tasted from what my shaykh taught and went into every ocean that he spoke about to whatever permission was granted and what's being spoken is from a haqq and a reality and a taste, not a book. So the way is real, all we have to do is stop, don't fall under the illusion of, of busy work and degrees you hope to get which will actually pay for nothing, look how much they spent for degrees. That's not the focus of life, the focus to recalibrate and make sure that you're good with Allah that you feel the energy of Allah you feel the love of Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> then everything else is secondary and third inshaAllah. Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.